But after spending 10 days in the hospital, the doctors told me, Kenny, you're one of the lucky ones. You were 24 hours away from dying. So that I said, cool story, Doc. Can you patch me up and send me back to Dynamite? He said, Kenny, it's not that simple. We need to get what's in you out of you. And if we cut you open now, we're gonna have to fillet you open. And you're gonna have to have a bag, a colostomy bag, for six months, 12 months, possibly the rest of your life. So I said to the doctor, I said, and if I don't, he'd said, that's fine. But for the rest of your life, you're going to have a ticking time bomb right here. Where you might not know where, when, or why, but you might just one day wake up in the hospital having the surgery done to you anyway. Any sort of blood force trauma to the stomach could kill you. Since that day, I, I, can't, I can't lie, I had to stop. Oh, with the red? Yeah. I had to stop watching. I had to stop watching because my hands would shake. I was scared. For the first time in my career, I was scared. And I, I felt pathetic. I felt like a coward. And I felt like maybe, maybe the point today, this whole thing, was to come out and explain to you that I had to retire. Oh. And, then, and then I did something. I turned on AEW for the first time the other day and I watched, I watched Dynasty. Anyone, anyone watch Dynasty? Yeah. I saw Swerve sort of make history. Right. Yeah. I saw Will Ospreay and Brian Danielson put on one of the greatest matches I've ever seen in my life. And I wish I could say I was happy, but when I look back down, my hands were shaking again. And the tremors got worse. The tremors got worse. I thought, wait a minute. Am I really scared of being a wrestler? And that's not what it was. When I came out here, and I heard the call from Justin Roberts, and I heard each and every one of you chanting my name just now. It made me realize something very important. I was scared, but that's life. We're all scared of something. The reason why I was shaking is because I was going through withdrawal. I needed to be back in this ring. I needed to be back in this ring more than I wanted to breathe. Living is being in this ring. Being called the best is what fueled me. And it hurt me. And, it hurt me. and I hated it that all the best shows the best pay-per-views, the best wrestlers on the planet are in the conversation for being the best, and I've already been forgotten. No! So I made a promise to myself, no! 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 and I'm making a promise to each and every one of you. No! 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 This isn't over until I exhaust every option. If there's a 10% chance, a 5% chance, a 1% chance. Come on, Kenny! Bag or no bag. You guys aren't done with Kenny Omega yet. I made a mission statement to change the world. And that, that brings me on to the 
the second piece of business. When we're talking about colostomy bags, why not talk about two other shit bags while we're at it? Matthew and Nicholas. You've been running roughshod over this company and embarrassing yourselves more than you've embarrassed yourselves ever before in the past. And you can do that. You're free to do that as EVPs. But what you forget is that there's also one other EVP. I may be fired from the elite, but you can't fire me as an EVP. So as far as I'm concerned, until someone says otherwise, a part of the power in this company belongs to the best power machine.